so you did. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at your cartoon here. It's great. It's the uh, with the turtles and and Cerebus. And uh, so you did hear from from Josh Evan. Uh yeah, yeah. He he's a member of the Service Facebook group, and he's been posting. Every time he gets a new one, he posts it, and people are like, when does this end? And he's just like, yeah, you'll see. Right, right. Because I got, I got a, uh, a fax from him, uh, which is really saying something. Somebody who, who sends emails and has no idea how to do a fax, if they, if they go to, uh, to the trouble of uh, figuring out how to send a fax, so that they can contact tapes them. Uh, he wanted to know if I was interested uh, in his collection, and uh, I, I'm certainly interested in, in having copies for the archive. If uh, if somebody wants to uh, download those as, as digital files, but I was thinking when the, when we do get to the uh, uh, Turtles number eight remastered version. Uh, that would make a really good card set of uh, Josh Evans' collection of turtles and Cerebus images by other cartoonists. That gets into a potential problem area of do these cartoonists want people to know that they did a, a Cerebus uh, with the turtles or was that just something, here, I'll do this commission for you, but Please don't tell anybody that I went anywhere near the uh, Dave Sims Cerebus third rail. And uh, so I, I, I put it out there as uh, if Josh wants to do it or if the guys on the Cerebus Facebook want to do it, let's hunt down everybody who did one of these and say, are you cool with uh, Waverly Press doing a, uh, a card set of these? In association with the with the remastered uh, Turtles number eight, and if if Josh is listen, listening to this, I don't know if he's uh, that much of a Cerebus fan that he he listens to Please Hold for Dave Sim. Uh, if he's listening, he was asking about uh, the original art um, for the Turtles Cerebus covers that uh, I've been. Sending you sending you progress reports on uh, the wrist has been a little touchy lately, so I haven't got any more done on the latest turtles cover. Uh, are those covers going to be for sale? And yes, those covers will be for sale. Uh, the bad news is they'll be at uh, ha.com, which uh, yeah, that's that's where you're talking about the 20% uh, um, buyer's fee that uh, that they charge. Uh, which is definitely a lot of money, but that's why I do it through HA.com. This is the Turtles. Uh, the only open question now is, is the Turtles Kickstarter going to be bigger than the Spawn 10 Kickstarter? Because uh, I've only got two big paydays. Apart from that, I've got <laughs> 123 um, Cerebus fans who are willing to spend um, quite large amounts of money uh, staying complete on all of these things. Uh, yeah, we so, are nuts. <laughs> and some of you are more nuts than others. I, I, which uh, benefits me because it's like this is the last 123 people I've got uh, to make a living off of uh, with, with Cerebus. So, uh, when, when the Kickstarter ended, the blog post I did for that day was the Kickstarter's ended and the deal is it the two guys that bought all nine get to pick a bonus page. And if it were me, <laughs> these are the two I'd pick. There you go. Which is which which would be the uh, third and fourth page for the Death of Death from issue one fifty one. Oh, that's right. You're you're a big fan of that. Uh, that it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> uh, flawless, flawless comedy as far as Matt Tao is concerned. Do you know if anybody's uh, picked the pages yet? Uh, I have not heard. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, and Sean's possibly just Eddie sent out the. 
backer surveys and Kickstarter had a hiccup and everybody that submitted them got an error 404 computer error and had to redo it. But Kickstarter, last I heard yesterday, was that they had fixed it and you can submit your survey now. So everybody, please submit your survey. Yes. That's that's one of those things that we're learning. This is not Sean Robinson's first rodeo by any stretch of the imagination at this point. Is uh, You don't wait for that last report to come in before you actually do your fulfillment. Uh, the, i, I got to say that the Cerebus fans are very good about the report, uh, or they have been over the last few Kickstarters, where by the end of the first week, uh, you don't have all of the reports. That's never going to happen. Uh, but we are getting like 90% of them inside of the, the first week, and sometimes you know 75% of them inside of 24 hours, uh, which, which is good. But at that point, uh, my philosophy is that's when we start doing the fulfillment, and we will babysit. Uh, the stragglers and babysit the people where even four months later you're still having to email them going, you paid for these. They're sitting right here. We're ready to send them to you. All you have to do is send in your report. And uh, finally you'll hear from them. But uh, it's only the rookie Kickstarter people who go, well, we'll wait until all the reports come in. No, you definitely don't want to do that. You don't want to don't want to wait for all of the reports uh, to come in. That's I'm pretty good about once the Kickstarter ends and I get the email of okay, here's the survey. As I start t- reminding everybody, hey, fill out your report, fill out your report. You know, I would I, I'll be the uh, substitute teacher that reminds everybody, hey, this is due on Friday. It's due on Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. Would then go. Uh... Can you tell me when this is due again? Oh, that, after, after five days. Somebody just posted on the Facebook group going, so how do I get a copy of the Regency edition of High Society? And I'm like, you don't? It it was limited? Sorry? Uh, let me correct you on that one. Uh, one of the things that I got Dagan to do was to send uh, the number one to ten copies to uh, Heritage Auction for them to auction. So, I, like, I'm not a, I'm not a hardcover guy, so I will pass on having number one, two, and three in the Cerebus archive in favor of what I figure is going to be the amount of money that uh, the number one, two, and three will will go for. And uh, uh, on on heritageauctions.com. So I would I would recommend people watching there. Uh, I know that Dagan just faxed me today that one of the uh, High Society Regency editions uh, a couple of weeks back, he said, went for $500 on eBay. Too rich for my blood. <laughs> Too rich for my blood as well. I mean, I, you know, I'm Dave Sim. I, I, I want to make the... the, the Spawn 10 money is my last big payday in my entire life, uh, apart from the turtles. So that money is still just sitting there, and is, I'm just going to make it last as long as I can. I, I, I still get Rolly to go and buy me uh, uh, $1 tuna at the Dollarama store, uh, because there's no point in paying $2 for a can of tuna when you can get uh, the same can of tuna for a dollar. It's, uh, if, if that buys me another uh, six months or a year of keeping Aardvark, Vanaheim, and Cerebus, and Strange Death and Alex Raymond going, uh, it's a little saltier than, than uh, the uh, sodium-free tuna, tuna that I used to buy. But that tuna is like $3, $4 a can. So... Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll eat slightly saltier uh, tuna. So, You're killing there. yourself, Dave. You're going to die early from all the sodium. It's, it's too late for me to die early. I'm 65 what? years old. If I, if I kicked off tomorrow, nobody's going to go, 
Oh, he died so young. He had, he had so much life left in him. It would be, uh, I'm surprised he was still able to feed himself and, and walk around and stuff like that. Good for you, Grandpa. Well, that, that's, now that I'm 42, it's like I can't, I can't be like, well, you know, I'm going to die young. No, I'm, I'm officially old. I, I, I will die old. It, it happened. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not pleasant getting to that age, but uh, very little 